Hey, good morning, it's Len. In a prior video, we talked about mistakes we make approaching our warm market prematurely and over-enthusiastically. I'd like to spend the next couple minutes talking about how best to approach the warm market. Now remember I said that if we just, just jump on the phone and start calling all of our friends, we push them away from us. Uh, we're going to call our best friend Bill that we haven't talked to in two years and we're going to immediately tell him about how we have this amazing opportunity and he's going to get rich working with us and he's sitting there going, dude, you haven't talked to me in two years and now you want me to get involved in something that's potentially illegal and yada 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 and you know, you push him away. So how best to approach the war market? In the very beginning, go to your close friends and relatives with the following idea. You're going to draw them to you. You're going to ask them for your help. You're going to say, Mom, I'm, I'm looking at something that I don't quite understand. Would you look at it with me and give me your opinion? What do you think? So by asking them for advice, you're setting yourself up for them to get enthusiastic and get involved with what you're doing. Don't expect them to sign up. It takes an average of five to seven exposures before somebody signs up to be a distributor underneath you. It doesn't generally happen the first time. It can, but that's a rarity. It's not the norm. So we approach our, peop our friends with the idea of asking them to take a look at what we're thinking about and get their, and give us their opinion about what's going on. And that way we draw them into the conversation and we get them to help us rather than us telling them what they should be doing. With that approach, we have a much higher chance of having them ask for additional information, of having, to, having them continue the conversation with us. With friends that we haven't talked to in a while, we don't call them up and tell them about the new opportunity. We call them up and we ask them how they're doing. We tell them we've been thinking about them. We tell them that uh, we're wondering how life is treating them. And if the time seems right, we might say something like, hey, I am involved in a new business. Do you mind if I give you a call sometime and tell you a little bit more about it? And they might say, well, yeah, no, no go ahead and do that. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd like to know more about it. Or they might say something like, hey, yeah, I've got time right now. Why don't you talk a little bit about it? Okay, now they've given you permission to start talking about your, your opportunity. And once again, you can't be tied to the outcome. You can't assume that they're going to jump on board and want to get involved with you right away. But if they say, well, that's interesting, you say, well, can I send you some more information? Maybe I can send you an email and a link to a, to a video you could watch or whatever material you have. I've got a, a brochure. I'd like to mail it to you. Do you mind? Or, hey, I've got a pamphlet. Can I swing by and drop it off? So that way you're engaging them rather than starting off with a, hey, I've got this great opportunity and you're going to love it and you're going to want to sign up with me. It's no, 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 no. Hey, how are you? So this is sort of what we call attraction marketing in a way. It's the the beginnings of it, the fundamentals of it. We're trying to attract people to us rather than pushing them away from us. Approaching them gently and keeping our egos out of the way and once again let the company do the talking. Don't describe the product. You know, tell them, hey, you've got a brochure you'd like them to look at or a movie you'd like them to watch or whatever it is you've got for marketing collateral. That way you've got a much higher probability of them wanting to take a look at what you're doing rather than them telling you why what you're doing is really a dumb idea. This is Len. We'll talk again. Bye for now.